Fortnite itself is known for having some of the craziest and coolest collaborations in gaming. And over three years ago, they teased a collaboration that we've all been waiting for. But finally, today, that wait ended. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this will happen. No! But if you do with a thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we've wasted too much time. We got a bunch of stuff to talk about, including the arrival of a brand new collab. Let's get into it. Now, before we check out the collaboration we waited three years for, first, ladies and gentlemen, something insane just happened with the Fortnite storyline, and it goes like this. I'm sure we all remember, in Chapter 4, Season 1, Regena was actually in the Battle Pass, and also a boss located on the island. Technically, I guess it wasn't Geno at all, and it was just a snapshot of him, left behind to rule the Empire, and that Empire, as we now know, is called the Oathbound. Y'all thought they were gonna play a massive role in Chapter 4. After all, they literally still, to this day, possess about 25% of the map and have numerous different outposts located all across the island. Then in the next season, chapter 4 season 2, when the rift gate opened a giant crack in the sky that led in the mega city, the fox clan, the peace syndicate, and a bunch of other organizations. For some reason, this led to Ageless completely disappearing from the Fortnite map altogether. And this left us all puzzled, man, because after all, wasn't this a snapshot of Geno? One of the most important characters in Fortnite history. If he's important for the Fortnite storyline, why was he just here for one season? Is that really it for the Oathbound, and will we ever see them return? The good news is, we finally have our answer, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm dropping into a game right now. Wearing the Ageless skin itself. Now, we actually need to take this over to the Hall of Whispers location. Talk to the character there, known as Volpez. Once you do that, he'll go on to say, We took care of Snowheart and the Icy Red Knight. Now you owe me a favor, or two. Now, what he's talking about is very interesting, because back in Chapter 4 Season 1, Snowheart was actually an NPC on the Chapter 4 island who was trying to defeat the Oathbound by covering their kingdom in a bunch of mountains of ice. On the other hand, the Frozen Red Knight was also an interactable character that had a very interesting interaction with Ageless, telling him that he was actually trying to burn down his entire kingdom. None of that is an issue for Ageless anymore, as Volpez here came in and apparently saved the day. The biggest thing this confirms is that Ageless is still alive and well, and the Oathbound's rule over the entire Fortnite island is likely still intact, but that is simply just the tip of the iceberg ladies and gentlemen now as you can see i have the fennec skin equipped something you should know fennec is actually the younger brother of volpez which is pretty interesting check this out if you actually take this skin and go and talk to his older brother with it he goes on to reveal something big saying no lectures today big bro i'm busy with the trickster revealing a brand new faction here in the fortnite universe now i'm not sure if volpez and the other tricksters really just hate snowheart and the icy red knight but what i think is more likely is that the Tricksters and Oathbounds have actually teamed up. And I'm very, very interested to see what this means for the future of the Fortnite storyline, man. It sounds very, very interesting. And we're definitely gonna have to keep our eye on this character. Now, it's time for the good part, ladies and gentlemen. There's one collaboration that all of us have been waiting, essentially, the last three years for, being Fortnite and Family Guy. Now, all of this started all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 5, where, as I'm sure we remember, the Zero Point started opening up a bunch of different rip portals across the island, with each one of them actually letting in new characters and other collaborations. One of them was actually between Fortnite and Street Fighter, where we received this backlink. As you're able to see, it's a little arcade machine that even has an animated screen on it. Inside of the Fortnite game files, associated with this backlink was actually this animation. If you're familiar with Family Guy, then you probably recognize this as one of the scenes where Peter is actually fighting against the giant chicken. Speaking of the chicken, I'm actually rocking the Tender Fender, ladies and gentlemen, and we're dropping into a game, and we're gonna reveal it all, ladies and gentlemen. As far as as a drop spot for this match. I actually think I'm gonna land at this little tiny house. It's because it kind of reminds me of the Family Guy house, man. I know it's not really that close at all, but screw it. It's good enough. Anyway, when this animation leaked in the Fortnite game files, we were all expecting the Family Guy characters to be the very next one through the zero point portals. That never ended up happening, and little did we know the collaboration was still a few years away. Hold on, boys. Bunch of enemies on me right now. Uh, got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's still one more, dude. There's still one more right here. Oh my goodness. I'm so weak already, bro. Why? 
Yes, we got him. Barely though, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, dude. That was so close. Anyway, fast forward to a few years later, right? Specifically to the very beginning of this year in January, Epic Games held a very, very special event. This event was actually known as the State of Unreal. And don't forget, the Unreal Engine is essentially the engine or main program that Fortnite runs off of and is operated by. Anyway, in this presentation, there was one part where they actually discussed a lot about the future of Fortnite. And in one part of it, if you zoomed in super closely, you were actually able to see a bunch of upcoming collaborations. This included things like Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and a bunch of other collaborations like Doom Slayer that have literally already happened. Now, out of every single one of these collaborations we've seen here the only one that is yet to come to fruition is actually the family guy collab and that is literally it everything else has already been released inside of the game as a skin or a collaboration fast forward to a few updates later and there was a new skin discovered in the game files code named french fry uh oh uh oh uh oh homie is turning up right here where you at mate come on okay one more yes guess they come in twos today boys where you at bud whoa, whoa. Edit. Yes, thanks for playing. Now, the codename French Fry Skin had actually been in the Fortnite game files for a very, very long time, but Epic Games has continually been working on it more and more, and it even received multiple brand new updates throughout 2023. Some people out there think that this is all just the most elaborate troll ever, and Epic Games will never actually release the Family Guy skin. But lo and behold, those people were totally incorrect, because coming up here very, very soon, I heard that the Family Guy show is actually going to be coming to an end. After almost decades of being on the air super consistently, longer than almost any other show, making it the perfect time for Fortnite and Family Guy to finally do their long-awaited collaboration. But alrighty, boys, we only got 64 enemies remaining. Let's go ham. What is this lad doing, bro? What gun is that? Sounds so powerful, dude. Come on. Yes! Oh, gunshots over there, lads. It's time to absolutely destroy them. Oh! Come on. There he is. Oh my goodness, what? Yes. All right, all right. Let's not do all that, buddy. Let's not do all that. What? Here we go. All right. All right, buddy. Where are you? Where are you? Ah! Yes. Golly gee, boys. That zone is far away. Uh-oh. Whoa, where did this guy come from? Calm it down, buddy, old pal. Yeah. Oh, right here. What a no-scope. Yes. Come on, finish him off. Got him. I got so many people around me right now. Ooh, come on. One more. Shotgun is so weak, dude. Yes! Ah, what the heck? Bro, everyone's using the flapjack gun today, dog. Except for me, huh? All right. Woo! Okay, all right. Let's calm it down here, buddies. All right, this is less than ideal. Yes! Another one's shooting at me over here, though. Yep, right here. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. There's 10 more to go, lads. Oh, one of them's right here. One of them's right here, huh? All right, all right. Yo! Golly gee, dude. What? Bro, these guys are lighting me up like mad. They're lighting me up like mad. All right, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, dude. Bro, come on. One more. Yes. I oh, just got to get this dude. He was an absolute spaz. Yes, let's go. That was so close, dude. Look at my health. Golly. Good news is, though, we only got eight more lads remaining. One of them, I think. Oh, yeah, he's right here. What the heck? Bro, what is this guy doing? You're a mad lad, dog. There we go. One more, one more, one more. No. Yes! One right here. Oh. There we go. Still, buddy. Ooh, there we go. Bro, what the heck? Another one. Dude, people are loving the flapjack. Yes! And we got the victory royale literally out in nowhere. That's what I'm talking about. As soon as the Fortnite Family Guy collab finally goes down, I want to make sure to let all of you guys know by making a tweet on my Twitter account, at HomeGamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.